In front of us here is a uh, kind of a mini sub made out of a water bottle and a syringe. My kids would have a lot of fun making these. Um, give us a little bit of a background about what, we, what it is we have here. Sure. Um, what we have is it's an underwater glider. Uh, so we started with a water bottle. Um, we have a 100cc syringe here, um, some 3D printed parts, and some hobbyist electronics. Um, so this is designed as an activity for high school students uh, to learn about science and engineering, uh, maybe get inspired to um, develop their interest in it further. Um, we've got circuit board that needs to be soldered. Uh, students learn how to program a microcontroller. They work with um, additive manufacturing. These are some 3D printed uh, wings here. And um, it's, a, it's a really good learning experience. We've had a lot of fun with it so far. What's the point of the program? Uh, once you, once you uh, manage to construct one of these things, what do you do with it? Okay, so uh, once, once you have one built, um, you take it out and fly it in open water. Uh, and the point of these is to collect ocean data to learn about our oceans. Uh, these actually, we haven't run them in the ocean yet, but in uh, lakes and, and ponds, streams, basins, swimming pools. Um, so we have a sensor pack here. Uh, this one's opened up but it's got a little microcontroller on the inside, um, connects to temperature and pressure sensors, which we, we've got some right here, um, and it logs that data to a micro SD card, and then you can pull that out and plot it on your computer. One of the things that the, this, um, sub, this uh, mini glider will, uh, will do is kind of pilot itself through the, through the water. Can you, can you tell us how that happens? Uh, sure, so the basic glider will pretty much just go in a straight line. Um, it, uh, it runs by driving a buoyancy engine. So I could actually turn this on right here. Uh, it'll take a moment to start up, but the buoyancy engine uh, takes in water, which causes the glider to sink. Now, at the same time, uh, it's moving, this cylinder here is a, um, it's full of BBs actually, because they're inexpensive and convenient. Um, and that's our moving mass. So the glider will start out at the surface, It'll take in water and pitch downward, and then it'll dive. And when it gets to the bottom of its cycle, it'll push the water back out, move the weight aft, and come back up to the surface. So all the time in the middle, it's just coasting. It's a very low power device. The full-scale gliders can run for months at a time and collect data autonomously radio at home. Um, so these are a really inexpensive way to collect tons and tons of data that um, scientists haven't been able to get before um, because it was cost prohibitive. This is part of a uh, specific program. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so this is built as a follow-on to the Sea Perch, which is an underwater vehicle that's um, a, a program designed for middle school students to uh, build an underwater robot uh, from scratch. So they cut PVC pipe, they solder a little circuit board to control it, wire everything up. Um, and that's a great, successful program um, that we've been doing for a number of years now. Uh, and this is designed as a follow-on for high school students, a little bit more advanced. Uh, sure. Mike, how much does one of these things cost, and um, what do students really need to know to get involved in it? So we don't have a final cost yet, um, but we are well under $100. Hope to bring that down significantly as we you know, roll into larger scale production. Um, and that's for the basic glider. There are several add-ons that are relatively inexpensive as well. Students really don't need to know much to get started. Um, this would make a good first time soldering project, first time Arduino programming project. Um, but if they've come from a program like Sea Perch, all the better. They can just get, get started even faster. So Mike, why a water bottle and uh, why a syringe? Well, that's a really good question. Um, you know, you can kind of look at this and, and see that it's really built with familiar objects, right? The, the hull itself is just a 700 milliliter water bottle kind you'd take out for a run. Um, and we like, to, we like to build things that uh, students can really see where it all came from. They can, they can see that I can take household items or everyday kinds of items and make something really cool with it. Um, that's that's really our our genesis behind this. We could make a sleek, you know, pretty one, uh, like like a lot of the a lot of the stuff that industry has, 
um, that, that might perform a little bit better. But the point of this is really to have a fun project, something to inspire students and teachers even, um, to get into science and engineering.